Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of I Cut to Planet. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, yeah, episode 5? Yeah, episode 5. <laughs> I had to make sure. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. We all know I made that mistake last week. I did not mean to. I thought that was freaking shorty. But <laughs> no, it's not time for shorty yet. I just want Shiori to finally, you know, be like, hey, I'm here. But still, B is best girl. Oh, and they literally have, that's smart. Well, of course it's going to be Hannah, right? Damn. That sucks. Maybe because you're not ready, though. Yeah. I mean, you, honestly, for a role like Cinderella, you, any role, honestly, really, you have to completely immerse yourself into it. Okay. And what level would that be? Okay, so if I had to choose, in my opinion, who could possibly maybe be Cinderella? So we're not going to put Hana slash, you know, Mao in this. So it's between Kyoko and Rudy. So... Rudy? I mean, because, like, if Kyoko, the best girl, mm, or I'm forgetting someone, who am I forgetting? Um, is it Q or P? It's one of them three. I mean, because they're all good at it, but then I feel like we're going to see someone new today as well. I don't know. I mean, because all three of them are very good in what they do in acting and singing. Really more singing because we haven't seen them act in a commercial. But. Who knows? But it's gotta be her. She's gonna, come on, yeah. She's gonna be Cinderella, hands down. There you go. That's it. That's the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Because, heck, she looks more like, um, not Hibiki. Oh my god, what was Hibiki's freaking best friend slash girlfriend? Her. That's what I'm thinking of. Good, but a little forced. Yeah, you didn't have a, you had emotion, but not like natural emotion, but you're still happy about it and excited. Try again. Mm -mm, try again. You can't say anything, remember?
Perfect. Bye. They're gonna find out, especially Miles' brother. Oh, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's a good comparison. And you have to be like right on your mark. God, I am like hitting the crap up. <laughs> Poor baby. Mm, okay. Two nationals and okay, stop. So you're you're happy, excited. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Heck, I want candy now. <laughs>
perfect. Or is that Venus art? I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. And how you express yourself. Mm-hmm. Like how Kyoko. Kyoko might put a little bit of herself and then also a little bit of beat into it. Rudy might honestly just put herself into it as well. You ready? Heck, I'm nervous for all three of them. I mean, oof. Okay, so cute piece. So what's your name with the pink hair? Because she looks like Madoka. Except, you know, her hair is a little more tamed down. But, like, energy. Look at her eyes! Oh, my God! <laughs> She's so pretty. So the question is, is I'm also auditioning as well? Did you have to make the prints so... Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> You had to make the prince hot as heck, didn't you? Like, oh. Damn it, I might have found my new bus girl.
Oh my god, like... But it was still good. I mean, just look at Cupid. You mean she she has the aura of oh my god. Mm-hmm. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> See, that right there, that is the worst thing in the world. Oh my god! Oh. Such a good job, oh my god. Like, okay, let's go ahead and talk about this right now. Acting wise, she gives me hella owie vibes, and I love it. A little bit of music key as well, because best girl music key. But oh, like she she came in. And she just like wiped the floor off of everyone. She knew that she was gonna get that role. Like, oh. I just need to know how like Q Pete's actual person is like in real life because she feels very mysterious even though we haven't seen her only really through the opening that's it but I need to know more about her she's very similar hell to like the twins from I got to one parade um no I got two friends my bad she gives me that aura and I can't and I love her so much
Honestly, she just gives me feels to, like, all of the freaking cool girls <laughs> in this show. Like, I cut too past and I can't. Like, oh. Damn it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's two. This is only episode five and I've already had, like, how many best girls? <laughs> <laughs> you did really good. <laughs> Just, oh. That was sweet. <laughs> of course she made the mouth. Honestly, really, you know, they should just make that into a full feature film for this series. Because we know it's going that route. I mean, come on, man. That was cute, though. Oh, my God. What the heck are they advertising? It's something that's square and it has a clip, like a yee chain. I'm guessing it's like the dressiest for it. See, y'all just want me to buy merch. But do you know how expensive it is just to like freaking ship anything from Japan to America now? Oh my god, it's so freaking expensive. Please don't make it. Like hell, I want to buy, you know, some stuff for Tropical Rouge Pretty Care because, you know, Tropical Rouge Pretty Care is starting soon. And that merch looks so good, but I'm like, oh my god, imagine the shipping. But going into this episode, this was very much, really this was an everybody episode, but this was a mainly focus of Hana, Asmal, and uh, Cupid. She, freaking Q, oh my god, like, she did a good job, like, oh my god, you cannot tell me she didn't do a good job, because she owned that role. She walked in into that like stage and she was just ready to own the crap out of that role to be like mm, like that is mine it's not yours it's mine like this is my role like almost how me when I'm like okay I want my best girls to come home and I'm like you yes you like oh my god you're gonna come home and then when they finally come home you are so freaking happy you're so proud of yourself because you're like yes they're home! Like, I'm so... <laughs> like, you're on cloud nine. Like, my best girl who was currently my, um, my home screen of my Echo show. She isn't home yet for her sin fest, but she's gonna come home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe not, you know, today! Why is she so pretty? Why is she so pretty? They're all so pretty. But she is the prettiest. Like, oh my god. Like, oh god. When, just looking at her right now, and I'm gonna say it again, gives me so many freaking Mizuki vibes that I can't. Because, oh my god. Like, <sighs> see, <laughs> I can't. Like, if you give me characters that are very similar to other I characters, either from Aikatsu or other idol shows that I've seen in the past. Like, if you give me someone that is, like, a, a mixture of Mizuki from the original Aikatsu series and my best girl, my number one best girl, Kaede Takagaki from Idol Master Shin Other Girls. Heck, you can even put Takane from, million, from original Idol Master in that because those two are very same in the situations that they do. But if you put someone with Mizuki, Kaede, and Takane 
it honestly really is her. She doesn't do a, like puns like I ate it, or she doesn't. We haven't really seen her eat like a whole bunch of ramen like talking to her, but just the grace and the beauty that she has, it literally immediately gives me feels to those three. And I'm just like, oh my god, like I can't help. Beat gives me that too. So honestly, I think those two are very similar into what they what really the creators of Ikachu Planet were looking for like in idols to have someone you know fall for each one of these girls and every little thing because each one of these idols as of six episodes going into seven by next week they do give you feels of so many other characters from Ikatsu Pass and you know other freaking series and such but yeah this is a good episode honestly really yeah I, I do want them to make that Cinderella movie but uh I can see as of right now we still don't really know how many episodes this show is really gonna get if they're going to um essentially treat it like the 50 episode Ikatsu series or are they going to give it a 24 essentially or anything because the fact is we're not looking at this show as we're, we're still technically looking at it as an anime but we're looking at it as a anime live action hybrid and because there hasn't really been um a uh, info on the episode count for this because typically like let me I, I gotta compare it to something else um oh my god like, okay, any anime that's currently out right now, usually by, like, week one, week two, week three, maybe by the time, almost very close to when the first um, DVD sales come out for it, that is when they say, okay, this show has, like, 50 episodes and it'll be on this many DVDs or Blu-rays across, like, from here to here. Like, for an example, one of my personal favorite shows from last year, um, Akudama Drive, they are I think they're having like six DVDs but um six separate DVDs but there's gonna be like two episodes in each of them right because there's like 12 episodes so two four six eight ten twelve yes yeah, six good job Deja um but I, I mean for this because of the fact is we know nothing of how many episodes it's gonna be uh, like because my money is on 25 as of right now if they wanted to do the original 50 route then I think so I mean because I'm guessing they're trying they're putting possibly a lot of money onto this show and they're really expecting it to um essentially blow up as the original Aikatsu series um has and I think it already really has even though we are still um essentially in the beginning of it we're still in the little small stages almost like how when I got you started and when Pretty Potter started to eventually to evolve to where they are now but still no matter what we gotta wait but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of Aikatsu Planet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys possibly either, I believe, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday for episode 6. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!